Well, it depends on what you want me to shoot and how far away I'd be. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> what, what do you think was the main lesson that, uh, as an actor, you learned from this movie, and maybe that your character learned through the process of, of, of these uh, story telling adventures? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What'd you say? What was the main lesson that maybe you learned as an actor, and uh -huh. also that your character learned through the? Through the There's something about the, how, how, how stoic he was, and it was he didn't. It was all sort of in his eyes uh, as a human being, and uh, his, how gentle he was, and how complicated he was, and it was really sort of a, 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 a sort of a practice and. And, and doing almost nothing, and just sort of trusting that whatever's going inside is going to read. So that that uh, that was a really interesting um, exercise. The story, the fact that there's the story of this very charismatic figure who had a tremendous impact, both while he was in service and at home, and that we could tell that man's story, and that if we do it right, people will watch it because it's compelling, and then hopefully it'll serve two purposes. One being that I, the reason why I watched movies when I was a kid is I always it, it healed me. I didn't feel like I was alone. And I think that's why a lot of people love cinema so much. And, you know, if soldiers can watch this movie and not feel so alone and sort of relate to it, that's one huge win for us. And the other is if a, a, somebody who's not really aware of what, what they go through in the battle and how much, what the burden is on the family, uh, that they would maybe take some time and maybe talk to a vet. I and mean, that's the kind of work that Chris did uh, when he was after he was honorably discharged from the SEALs and he was a civilian. So if this could at all keep carrying on his own work, that would be wonderful. I mean, it was a, it was a very sort of short, uh, no BS conversation, which I'm sure most of the ones would have been like if he, if he was alive and we made the movie together, which would have been wonderful. Um, but we just basically talked, I just basically said to him, like, uh, I know you don't know me, and I'm this guy that, you know, I don't know how you may distrust Hollywood, but I, I'm from Philadelphia. And, and I don't know what to tell you other than I'm not, I'm not going to do you wrong. And you can tell me straight because I'm going to tell you straight.